Hi everyone, so how are you? Today I'm going to be talking about um, synastry charts and consciousness and how important it is uh, when you're doing synastry charts that you kind of, you need to know the consciousness of the two people that you're doing the charts for the ev in an evolutionary position um, from an evolutionary standpoint. If you're doing synastry charts for two individuals and you know everything maps out great, their Venus, their Mars, their Jupiter, their personal planets are highlighted and they're pretty good aspects uh, between the two individuals. Even if they're squares, those can also be real strong indications of attraction. Um, so the consciousness of the two people that you have are going to be very important because you can have one person's um, energy matricure is fine, but if you two are not on the same um, wavelengths, uh, one of the people in the relationship will suffer. So consciousness uh, usually happens when outer planets are, are already a part of the individual's evolutionary process, especially if there's personal planets being aspected by the outer planets and with evolutionary astrology you know we use Pluto so most of the time it's Pluto that really um, identifies the consciousness of that person uh, Pluto's relationship to the other planets in the chart as well as when you put the strange tree uh, the two charts together where Pluto is an aspect to those planets as well. So if you have one soul that decides that they want to not um, evolve or grow or learn through the process and the other individual does, then you have a um, crisis with, with uh, the relationship. So when that happens, this is where you're looking at the consciousness of the two different people and how one energy can be more... Um, flexible or open to change and evolving and growing and becoming something new or not and then you have another energy that may also not want to grow at all um, and so you have those two energies trying to do something but one energy is evolving at a different pace than the other one and everything is subjective so it doesn't mean one is better than the other either it just means that the two energy fields need two different things as they're growing. So think about those relationships that you've had in your life where you were with a partner and you were feeling like it was really slow, things weren't working to your pace, um, things were not going the way that they, they could have because of a lot of friction. Um, it could be that the two souls have two different evol evolutionary um, goals and the relationship could be something to, to catapult that change or the relationship can be something to stunt that change. So it's really up to the native on how they decide to use their personal energy when they're in a relationship. So I just wanted to talk about this for a quick moment. So your consciousness will affect the relationships that you also get into. Thank you guys. And my contact is in the description below.